Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Hinterland, and this will be the Mega Mix, which encompasses August, September, October, November, December, and January, so I can start playing this map again. <laughs> I got to the point where I, so I, I've been doing a little bit of soul searching on this map recently. I, I went uh, a while back, I went on a bit of a binge and I played, you know, a year and a half in advance uh, and have been having to record voiceover episodes ever since, uh, which has been, uh, you know, fun to be able to share the progress, but not very fun because ultimately all I want to do is play this map. So I see no other way to get us there other than a uh, some, somewhat of a highlight reel here over a bunch of months as we uh, walk through some of the progression that happens. Uh, and brings us an, an inevitably up into the present day, which in, in game is, uh, you know, February basically. So uh, we're starting off here in August, which uh, we're finally reaping the benefits of our of our uh, wheat and canola fields, and we're getting to harvest finally. <laughs> it's been uh, feels like it's been forever growing these crops, and and uh, and and they, they're all grown up, and it's time to take them out of the ground. We can finally feed some birds. <laughs> Needless to say, there's going to be a lot of wheat that we're going to be pulling out of these fields. Good looking fields too, by the way. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll be pulling a lot of wheat and throwing it right in the silo and uh, and feeding the birds as we go. The chickens and ducks. One of which I like, the other of which I don't. Yeah, crack that open. I always like uh, I always like these types of silos versus the uh, the kind of like where you just pull over and dump into the ground. I don't know. It's way more interactive, I think. It's kind of cool, but yeah, it's good. We're finally getting to use this trailer too, which is nice. It's funny. It, it looks like it should have a bigger capacity, but I think it's what about twenty thousand liters, something like that. Anyways, the combine's basically going nonstop here. For the most part, I have it on a worker, so uh, so we can continue doing the rest of the stuff that we need to do. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, it was fun chasing the combine all over the place. Well, in, in the midst of all that, we are going to continue up with our normal duties. Don't forget, every single day we babysit the animals, right? Feed the sheep, make sure they have water. Take the wool that they were so gracious to provide. <laughs> we throw that into the spinnery so it can slowly, ever so slowly create fabric. Got to do something about that. It just takes forever. Look at that. Did we get to 80,000? I don't think we got to 80,000 liters. 70, 77,000 liters. On to the canola. A couple people wondered what was going to happen when it came time to harvest uh, in regards to those birch trees. Well, there you go. It takes a, a little bit of careful precision and you can get past them without slamming into the trees. <laughs> they look cool. Wait till you see in the fall. When we get to the fall, they look awesome. They just sort of explode with color. Do they do that in real life though? Did birch trees change color? I don't remember ever seeing a birch tree change color, but maybe it's just I wasn't watching. Gotta wash that thing. Man, it's filthy. Anyways, the canola is going to go right down into the production here so we can continue making oil. The uh, the oil is a big benefit to me on another map, uh, on the Comlands map that I'm playing right now. I still don't like the fact that this production, uh, that production is so disconnected from the main, uh, main area, but anyways, it is what it is. 11.35 in August, we gotta do some of the some of the normal rounds again. Like I said, we do have to take care of the sheep. We gotta always make sure that uh, that uh, distributor is full of water. So our greenhouses have water. I wish I could remember how many bales we take off these fields, but uh, it's a substantial amount. You'll see, once we store them, you'll see it's actually kind of hilarious. I honestly don't know that we'll ever get, ever get through these bales. I wonder if I'm a bit of a bale hoarder. I tend to always take the uh, straw swath and, and I always put the bales away, but I don't know that I necessarily always use them. There you go, buddies. I don't remember where, how this uh, auto-loading trailer snuck in. I seem to remember complaining a lot about auto-loading, but 
I, I don't mind how it works actually with these bales. I don't like how it works with the round bales. It stacks these nice and tight and gets them gets them good. So I, I don't I don't honestly mind that as much. But, uh, but yeah, you'll see later on. Not a fan of the round bales. I would still rather stack them myself, but it definitely helped me. Uh, it helped me cut down some time. Yeah, look at this. This is the start. So eventually we have a a bale fort. You'll see. You'll see what I mean later on. It gets to be kind of ridiculous. Just makes me itchy looking at it. And more bales to put away. Yep, there you go. The three wheel, <laughs> three wheel and pro right there. This is a never ending battle, but for the most part, the, uh, Greenhouses have done a good job to help us feed the birds, but now that we have this wheat harvest, we're not really going to have to worry about this as much. So eventually we're going to just start selling the stuff out of the uh, <clears throat> out of the greenhouses instead of having to feed it all the time to the birds. Man, with every great harvest comes a crap ton of cultivation. So now, now we've got to get these fields turned over. It's all good. Just don't have very wide implement, but, you know, it's all good. So we take these... Uh, We've taken this right into the night. It took forever to get these things cultivated. And on to the second day of August. Kind of forgot what it's like to play uh, two days per month. I've been playing one day per month over on Comlands. So the... Bet you didn't even know we had bees. <laughs> so to remove that and I just wanted to merge these two fields because it didn't make sense to me anymore to have this little field and then the long field. So instead of, we'll just make one long field I think is going to make more sense. A little easier to harvest. Easier to plant. Yeah. So now that, it, now that they're merged we can get the rest of it cultivated. In, in hindsight my... Uh, Cedar is a direct drill, so I didn't actually need to uh, cultivate the fields. And I always forget. It just seems like something you're supposed to do. So in an effort to keep our bank accounts full, we keep stacking stuff on this trailer here so we can go down, down to town to sell it. Watching back this footage to it and uh, having really been playing so much of Comlands on easy economy with the 200 horsepower challenge, it, uh, it it blows me away at how little you get when you're in hard economy when it comes to selling. Uh, I've, I sent some trailers down to town where it's just they're stocked, and uh, and then instead I'm I'm you know pulling out 20 grand instead of 100 grand. There we go. It's just this beautiful circle around and around. Feed the cows, water the cows, feed the sheep, take the take the wool, put it into the spinnery, get the stuff out of the greenhouses, feed the birds, get the water around and around. <laughs> Eventually these sheep just blow up and, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with all the little sheep that keep uh, spawning. There's one little guy down there at the food tray. Can't wait! Uh, I can't wait to do something with this uh, cow field here. You'll see what happens eventually. I think you'll like it. And now for some nightmare fuel. It's not the mowing actually that's a nightmare. It's what you do with the grass afterwards. I think is the nightmare. <laughs> you should have looked uh, together at the time in game time the, like uh, just it, it's a serious serious investment in time i'm on the brink of uh, introducing uh, course play and auto drive look at those bales <laughs> oh my gosh but just wait in these five months of highlight reels there's an even 
more nightmarish uh, uh, bail spree coming. I think the problem too, the problem with this bailer is it makes little bales too. I mean, it's nice that it wraps them, but I think these are the little, aren't these the little 3,500 liter bales? Anyways, then around and around we go to pick these things up. Uh, so we need a good place to put the bales. So I figured we'd build this little yard out here a little bit further. Ultimately, we're probably going to need one more silo. Whether or not we expand this even further at some point to put a bigger shed where maybe we can put the put the combine. I don't know. I don't want to just leave the combine in the grass. It's, it's summertime right now, so it's not as big a deal. But we may want to build this out a bit more later on. But for now, for now, we'll just use this area here to stack bales. I don't know what that random hay or straw bale is. And then uh, time for another field. I was talking about this with somebody in uh, on Comlands. I think it was a it was a gaming joy and and uh, just how how uh, I always make square fields. It, like if I play a map and it's got square fields, I don't even want to play it. I have no interest in playing it. But when it comes to these kind of uh, these kind of, and maybe it's just because I'm not using course play or auto drive or whichever one you would use to make fields, but uh, I tend to always make big square, rectangular, uh, you know, square edge uh, fields when it comes to actually making the fields. Where I think I'd rather make you know nice, flowing, rounded shapes. But uh, but look, look, everything just ends up being a bit of a grid. Definitely uh, efficient. So I want to get some canola in here, but Mother Nature is not cooperating. This might be the first interaction with with wet fields. Check this out. Right here. The field turns to soup. <laughs> it was almost up to my axles. Anyways, I got lucky and got out of there and we just abandoned the <laughs> abandoned the cedar uh, so we could use it another day. Get up. There you go. Anyways, thankfully the rain stopped. Yeah, here, check this out. I can't stand how this handles these round bales. Well, you're not really going to be able to tell there. But see how the bales have the gaps? That, that's how it auto loaded those bales. And now if I try to put bales in between, uh, immediately the straps, as soon as the bale passes kind of the plane there and, and uh, the, the uh, straps let go and then everything falls off the trailer. So I had to triple stack, which is fine, but it just looks so stupid. I could fit so many more bales on that trailer. And my other least favorite thing about this map or, or whatever is, uh, is, is, having to unload these bales um, because I can't just sell I can't just sell directly off the trailer uh, with the bales they have to hit the ground I guess maybe they don't if somebody knows any different let me know but uh, yeah it drives me nuts auto load or auto unload would be really good here because I could just dump them right on there but anyways but that's it we were able to pick up and uh, pick up where we left off just before the month ends and uh, get that canola into the ground. And then kick off September with uh, the bank machine of Mother Nature, basically. Eventually all these all these trees up in this field will be gone. Um, but uh, yeah, anytime I need money, you just go back to the forest, I guess. <laughs> A little tedious, but uh, but effective. Notice the forecast there calling for rain again. So we're going with a lot of canola this time. I think it was basically we were going with canola and wheat, but we just sort of flipped the fields. I think the only field I put wheat into was the one that had canola. And I put canola into everything else. I don't really know why, to be honest with you. But yeah, the whole entire day went to planting and, uh, and cutting trees down. 
look, it's already uh, seven o'clock at night on the first day of September, and, and uh, we're going down to the store now. Nineteen two on hard economy. What is that? Like a hundred grand on easy economy? Anyways, we were all praying that Billy would get that field done before we had to go to bed. And the seating continues. Uh, yeah, okay, so we re... This field, this field was wheat and it still is wheat. And then there was another field I think we, we did in wheat. Yeah, this one here. I didn't really stray too far from wheat and canola from what I recall. See those trees are already starting to turn. Yeah, so this will be the third wheat field. Our hungry little friends are demanding some more food, go figure. This Zedor is taking a beating. I can't, can't tell, me, tell you how many times I've, I've overloaded it and come in on three wheels. I'm surprised we haven't snapped an axle yet. It's hard to find the little guys. Like, you go, you go driving through that uh, sheep pen and you're going to be crunching sheep because you can't see anybody in the long grass. I'm not a fan of the uh, mixing wagon anymore now that I've been using the mixing station in uh, on Comland. So I think I may may want to may want to make some changes around Hinterland when we start doing some live play again. Oh, this was fun. This is where uh, this is where our worker decided to plant wheat in our canola field. Yeah, I had them set up to to help me. And uh, instead of helping me, they just made my, li my life even more difficult. So we went back and fixed that. My apologies if, I'm, if I miss a cough or um, editing out a cough or, uh, or I sound overly congested, but I just, I am. <laughs> I think I've, I've mentioned a couple times uh, on the channel that uh, I'm just recovering from a pretty nasty cold and uh, the remnants are still there. You know, it feels good to know that the fields are all done. Is that what we have to do in real life? Seems like a real pain in the butt. Well, at least the cows will be happy. It's still a pain in the butt. Yeah, so they didn't really take too much because they were already full. This, uh, I was pumped when I found this sprayer because I thought it looked really rustic and suited the map really well, but now it's getting to be a little bit, uh, a little bit narrow, so we maybe uh, may need to invest. Uh, well, two things: may need to invest in a new one, a little bit more wide. And uh, I think I'm going to start making a real effort to spray immediately after planting, uh, like I saw FS Dave do, and I'm doing that now in Comlands because it seems like if you spray right away, you don't see the weeds. It's one thing to spray the weeds, but then look, you have those dead weeds. It doesn't look very good. But it, it does seem to work if you spray immediately after planting, then uh, then you don't see the weeds come up. You do see where you missed, I can tell you that much. A uh, new piece of equipment, because we do have a sunflower field that's gonna need to get uh, harvested at some point here, so we might as well spend the money now, I guess. Go get that header.
Actually, it looks like it's about to run out of fuel and it needs servicing. Honestly, I don't think I remember that right away. Also looks like it could use a cleaning. It looks like maybe somebody was murdered inside the cab of this thing. And that, those things look like they could murder somebody. And it's nice knowing now that we have uh, whatever we need to harvest whatever. Obviously, it's up to us to plant uh, certain things, but start sniffing out that field. <laughs> I, it's so I, I, I laughed because I going back through this footage to kind of get all the highlights out, and so often I'd I'd look at something, and then the very next thing I would do, go into the woods, <laughs> go go get the money to do whatever it is you want to do. So in this case, it was look at a field. Now go get some money. Twenty-two seven. Well, plus a, almost a two thousand uh, dollar bonus there. Yeah, there's nightmare fuel. We're about to make a purchase here, and then we're going to have to mow all of this. Well, we don't have to, but it'd be crazy not to. Yeah, look at that, it spans all the way back over there. Anyways, let's make that purchase. Almost 80 grand. Pretty much everything we had. There's a couple trees I had to cut down here. I think I only included footage of the one. Managed to get it uh, cut down enough that I could haul it off to the side. Remember on Hinterland, I'm set to 200 kilogram max as far as what I can carry, where on Comlands and Bally Springs, we're at 100 kilograms. Only because I didn't know when I started a Hinterland that you could do that. I didn't actually notice that. Look, it's taken us, so we're on the second day of September, 6.20 in the evening, and we're just getting to the end of it. Oh, so difficult. It'd be nice if we had a big mower. What's that, 8.30 almost? We're just putting the windrow through it. Cows over there just been watching me go back and forth all day. Yeah. Time to call it a night. It's funny, it's uh, year two, we're in October and I'm still in the silo house. <laughs> Eventually we'll make some money and we can, uh, we can get ourselves a nice house. But anyways, for now we'll live in the quirky silo house. So October is made up of a lot of, uh, uh, you know, stuff like this, obviously, <laughs> selling. We're now into selling some uh, eggs, which is which is good. I don't think I noticed uh, that this tractor is about to implode. It's got 59, almost 60 hours on it. Did I buy, oh, I bought this used, didn't I? Yeah, so I didn't put all the hours on it. But uh, if you look at the uh, service record down there, it's about to blow up. So we pretty much start the day off 
selling here. And wait do you see the service bill on this thing. The, uh, the Valtra is just smoking there. I don't know that I've ever had a service bill as big as what I'm about to see. Like 25 grand there. Yeah, look at this, $4,500 in repairs. Got a few more things to sell. Pretty decent money. Of course, I had to get the forklift stuck. So we got a little bit of animal TLC here. Water the animals, probably throw them some food, and then, uh, and then we got another big project today. Give these guys four bales. <laughs> and then escape out the side door with the, with the wool. So there we go, it's time to harvest. Check out the straw swath on these sunflowers. So I have that extended straw mod or whatever. Um, so I understand that sunflowers, while not normally giving you a straw swath, will with that on, but like that's a massive straw swath compared to the one I just got on Comlands, which was just like a, a little pittance out the back. That's a massive straw swath. So it must be something about this map. As I finally realized about to run out of fuel, so we had to put in a little fuel station here. And then I figured rather than go down to town to fix our vehicles, we'll just fix them right here. Yeah, look at the tractor trying to drive on this straw swath. It's like, it's like up to the doors. Yeah, it must be something to do with this map. I don't know what it is. Definitely not complaining, but watch how fast this bale spit out of this thing. It fills up so fast. Here they come. <laughs> Wait, do you see this? I got so many straw bales. So the field, the field is full of them. And, and we're gonna keep stacking them in here. I find it quite satisfying anyways. I don't mind stacking the bales, but. I wish I knew how many liters of straw we have. Oh my God, look at the field. I can't even remember the number. I think I've blocked it out. More bales than I think I've ever had to take off a field and, and have to do it eight at a time. Oh, I don't know where I... I don't understand it. Are you guys familiar with the word Sisu? The term S-I-S-U? It's a Finn term for internal fortitude and, uh, and sort of internal strength, I think, is kind of what it, what it alludes to. Well, my, my, I'm half Finn, my, my mother's side, she's from Finland, so... I think you're seeing it in full effect when it comes to a field like that. It might not be the right use for that word, but it just feels feels right to me anyways. Look at the bales down here. So the first little stack, those are the old ones. There's the new ones. <laughs> And the funny thing is, in a hard economy like this, like, sure, they've been worth some money, but may as well just feed them to the cows. I'm hesitant to add productions up at the top here. I don't, I guess I could. It's probably the next natural thing to do. Like, if you look at Comlands, I'm going crazy with productions. Um, Valley Springs, I don't think we'll be doing the same because we're sort of working on an actual farm. But uh, I don't know. I know once I get into productions on this map, things are gonna explode. But I guess it's just where we wanna take it. What do you guys think? You wanna see productions up at the farm? I hate just selling like raw grain. It feels like I should be able to turn all of it into something. Look, there's milk, I made seven grand, but could I have done something better with it? There's a 
casual 105,000 liters we're selling off as we do bowling. There we go, making money in October. So here's what we're doing with the cows. We're moving them over. Moving them over, I guess. <laughs> so these each hold, if I recall, 150 cows. I believe it's 150 cows. So these, I, I really like taking these, there's a sheep enclosure like this too, where you can take two of them, put them side by side, and then fence them in as if it was just one giant yard and then it looks like uh, it looks like your yard is like twice as, as wide and the cows if your cows are all the same it almost looks like they they could be you know on either side it's kind of cool so we'll eventually fence this in of course got to do a little just can't place something and leave it alone gotta always do something else <laughs> do you think I'm gonna need to buy something We're off to the woods Let's go get some more trees and there we go Look at those you see the birch trees over there. I remember I said they just they just explode this time of year All right, thank you for the 23,000 plus environmental bonus So this was satisfying getting a chance to destroy this so the second that was gone Must get rid of the fence there you go couldn't do that until now because uh, every time I try to delete it, it would ask me if I wanted to get rid of the cattle enclosure. So I don't have, I opted just to sell the cows instead of moving them over. I looked at like uh, uh, wagons and things that I could carry them over with, but, uh, and I played this before the current, the stick that you could use now to, to, to move like tons of animals. So. You can get some straw here, but yeah, so I didn't have the capabilities. Anyways, I opted just to sell the cows we had and figured I'd just buy new ones. I wasn't too impressed with those last cows anyways. Hopefully the next batch are better, you know? There we go. Just one more tool meant to try to kill you on the farm. Don't fall in there. So basically what right now I'm just trying to get the the enclosures set up so that way when we do have cows um, everything's ready for them so I hate, I hate putting animals in and then and then having to get them ready because inevitably I get distracted Ooh, a little straw shower there uh, inevitably I get distracted and then our animals are starving and you know they you know they can die obviously so I kind of prefer to get everything ready in advance if possible funny I, I sort of fill the trailer up to about 7,000 liters go and feed the animals and then uh, basically end up I think this is one I basically end up going back and filling up the trailer again uh, only to uh, only to store it in here <laughs> I should have just filled it up in the first place and stored it in here I think I just didn't want to leave it outside is the whole thing but there you go we got the fix for that yeah, so that was a hard fought October. Look at those beautiful trees. I'm pretty excited about the new uh, the new setup for the cows. I thought that was kind of a big win for the month. And I just dropped a wheel into the uh, into the wheat field there, the muddy wheat field. But yeah, we're gonna go rest our heads and get ready for what might be an even busier November. Beautiful day here in November. Oh, look at this. Wait, let's see. Where's my next step? Okay, well, I mean, that's not too far off. See something in the store? Go sell stuff. If it didn't get so dark so fast in the fall, I would leave it on 
that fixed visual month. I leave it on the fall all the time. I love the trees, but but I also prefer July because it's just so much brighter. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm watching this back, really thinking that maybe we want to move the. We might want to move these. Not that we can move these productions, but we might want to stop feeding these productions down in the village and start uh, feeding our own. Or I was gonna say, or we could we could feed these and just set them to sell automatically, but I don't know. Oh, my oil is so heavy. But uh, regardless, we made a good little chunk of change. All right, it's time to put a little security around the future cows. Gonna invest in some fencing now. I love these enclosures, the way they put the posts up there, so you really have the kind of the guidelines, right? Yeah, you see what I mean? Like the cows basically will walk right up to the edge of where their allotted space is. So it looks like, you know, if you watch close enough, you'll never see them obviously go between like from one side to the other uh, because they stick on, on their half. But they, uh, you know, if you didn't know any better, you'd think they were all just one big happy family, especially once we drop those, uh, drop those posts, uh, then you, you really can't tell. Illumination. It's wild how expensive the uh, the fence is. Like almost ten grand per side. What? <laughs> so I'm laughing. Big spender. So I got I put six cows in this side and six cows on the other side. There you go, we got a total of 12 cows. Actually, uh, all jokes aside, um, it's crazy how much milk you get from just 12 cows. Yeah, see, it does look, it looks like the whole field's connected now, which is kind of cool, and that there's just two buildings. And what would a month on Hinterland be without a massive mowing endeavor? This time though, we're gonna make hay. So there's gonna be no wrapping, which is kind of nice. I think I was almost excited to be honest with you until I quickly realized, wait a minute, this is still just mowing. Yeah, look at that, it's after, already after 12, first day of November. This is cool. I like mowing this. Uh, well, I like turning on the mower. See, see the birch trees off in the distance there? Those are the saplings we planted. I can't remember. Are those pines, the other ones? Stone pines or whatever. Yeah, but we planted them and they've grown up pretty good. Same obviously with the birch trees there on the on the yard that you can see. We, we planted those too. It takes forever for these stupid trees to grow. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Our little saplings are all grown up and they're orange. There we go. Back and forth, back and forth. 
it's wild how much grass work I can put myself through. <laughs> But, I mean, usually it comes while I'm watching somebody else's YouTube channel, really. And throw on somebody's episode or whatever, or, or even a movie. I swear, when I was binge playing Hinterland, I'm pretty sure I watched all the John Wick movies. Anyways, we're rolling into the second day of November here now. You can see kind of why I wanted to do this. I mean, we've added some property, obviously, changed the cows around. Uh, you know, there's been there's been some stuff, uh, nothing monumental over the you know period of the months. So I don't I don't feel too bad putting this all into one compilation. Seeing that fabric sell, we really got to figure out a way to make more fabric. which is literally just gonna come from trying to process the wool faster, I guess, because what was that pallet worth? 27, basically, if we had good enough for environmental bonus, it's three grand. I, I had to put this clip in here. I, I don't know that I've had a chance to compliment the light on this map in this episode yet, but good God, it always looks so good. Yeah, see, we're working on the fort. Oh, this was a good opportunity. Check this water tank out. I had to get a close look on my own water tank. Look, ours is $8,800. The exact same one in the store is five grand, so... Basically, I figured I could buy this one. Take ours down there, get it fixed, get it painted, and then uh, sell sell it and basically make a profit going to another used one. I guess you got to take advantage of those opportunities when they present themselves. Yeah, see, it's worth ninety seven hundred dollars. We paid five hundred dollars. We we picked up a, not, we didn't pick up a lot by painting it, but we definitely picked up something. There. So we just made some money. Make sure those 12 cows have water. This is definitely overkill right now for 12 cows, but don't worry. Yeah, those 12, that's a, the, between the 12 cows, they have about 90,000 liters of TMR. <laughs> Look at those bales. All right, you want to see the fort? I just saw this gap here and thought I'd jump up. This is exactly where I'd be playing if I was a kid. But then I'd have to put like some kind of ointment on because I'd be so freaking itchy. But anyways, if you can't find me, I'll be taking a nap up there, obviously. I continue to over care for the cows. I just have so much straw that I can't help but throw it all in there. I think I get a reasonable amount. Keep in mind, I have 
I have 12 total cows, so I've got almost 3,000 liters of milk out of that side. Yeah, so look, 5,800 liters of milk, almost 6,000 liters of milk. Seems like a lot, maybe it's not, but I think it's still, it wasn't worth like 10 grand maybe? Let's go by memory. Nope, <laughs> it's worth about four. <laughs> but I think I got 10 grand for it. Must, must have been dreaming. It's nice we're in egg selling season here. So I mean, if I had a production that I, I could uh, dump my eggs into when the, when the pricing is low, I could do that. And off to see a man about some money. So we head into the woods with two empty trailers and a big heart. And we're back out of the woods. I had so many close calls with uh, with these trailers and uh, and carting logs down to uh, to the docks. It's like I swear, if you're not paying attention for like, it'll just get you so fast. Usually, it's like something happens and you go to you go to correct whatever that was, and then you just get knocked over. There's sixty-two thousand dollars I got in the bank now. Say hello to our new tractor. About two hundred and fifty horsepower, I think, out of this thing. I've never, up to this point, I'd never used this tractor. I think it's it's got it's got like a funny stance. It's almost like it's almost like a big or like a medium-sized tractor that they put a smaller body onto. I don't know. I find something very unusual about this tractor. Proportions are strange. That's a good worker. Anyways, we'll get it back to the farm and we'll we'll put it to work. Just gotta check it out while it's driving. It just looks weird. It doesn't look weird on the inside. The inside looks normal. Actually, what doesn't look normal is there's no dirt. <laughs> Where's the streaks on the windshield? It won't take long, I'm sure. So like I said, we'll put it right to work. It could feed some birds. Uh, so we'll, after feeding these guys, we'll close out the day, uh, we'll grab one more load of logs and put it into the sawmill so that thing will keep firing away. And then uh, we'll roll into December. And it's December now, so it's time to take care of this field. This is where the sunflowers were, was, was, were. been playing so much uh, on calm lands with um, and when seasons are off uh, so I forget sometimes that you don't just you know harvest a field and then immediately uh, you know prepare it like plant it I'm, I'm, and again I'm cultivating a field that I likely don't have to cultivate So December doesn't turn out to be the longest month, um, but there's a couple, couple important things that we take care of this month as we get ready for the winter time. If you look at all of our stuff is everywhere right now. So we gotta find a place to put this stuff. Starts with a shed. A 
should say a shed and some landscaping, obviously. <laughs> I was careful to leave enough room for the harvester to get through. For now, that is. You'll see what happens later, but... So I need a place to park the combine. Ideally, you'd put it in a big building with a door and everything over the winter, but for now, this is all we have. With a little bit of space beside it, we'll dump a trailer and we're good to go. Yeah, so with the shed now, we can put all the other stuff away, which is nice. I think, um, I think here's where I might have screwed something up because I've gone and basically, I go and I basically block that access off again um, in the interest of putting a pull through shed so I can put the, uh, the milk trailer under there. I don't know what that's gonna mean for us when it comes time to get the harvester through there. leave that there for now so second day of December a little less frosty looking uh, maybe not eh? forecast looks like it's gonna be a high of seven which is nice but uh, low minus six So many close calls with this trailer and tractor. So making some money. 10 grand. I can't honestly remember why I sold this. And why I didn't just hang on to it to feed the chickens or the ducks or whatever. But I sold it nonetheless. <laughs> then we had an opportunity pop up. And I think it's an opportunity. I know we can make a bigger bale now. I just can't remember if we can wrap 150 centimeter bales. But I must have thought this was a faster option because we sell the fence or we sell the cloth here and uh, and pick up the new baler I think this thing had a pretty hefty paint job it needed yeah I don't remember Look at, the, look at the repaint, $7,000. So we're at 16.085. So will we be able to sell for more than 23, yeah, 836. So I, I, it's, it's, we've picked up hundreds of dollars anyways by painting it. Now it's, it was worth hundreds of dollars more. Not, not m way more, but I'll pick anything we can get. That's a cool looking baler, but honestly, I don't know. I can't remember what the rationale was or whether it's faster maybe. Or maybe it was just the bigger bales, thinking that it'll wrap those bigger bales. I think it will. I think it does 150 centimeter uh, silage bales. Look at that, almost 14,000 liters of milk. I 
Yeah, eleven grand with the environmental bonus, and that's a uh, that's basically December right there. Service this beast and wake up in January. <laughs> Start with a uh, well-stacked load of goods to take down to the store. We gotta generate some money so we can buy uh, buy some cows. Like I swear, that was a hundred thousand dollar trailer load of stuff that we just got twenty-two thousand dollars for. So. Uh, my hopes is to finally get into this uh, clearing here and, and sort of plow it out so we can make an additional field uh, of what I uh, yet I don't know maybe it'll be sunflower or something like that but uh, but first we had a lot of logs to take out of this so that's what we're gonna do next just gotta flex those uh, those skills not to destroy the crops. Here's the next load. And the next load. <laughs> this is the one we put into the, we start putting them into the sawmill at some point here. I think it's this one, yeah. I mean, we only have $107,000 in the bank now. So because we're putting them into the sawmill, I don't have to cut them as short. <laughs> so obviously we can keep them, you know, full tree length. That's the size, isn't it? So, I mean, you can, you can always put stuff like this on your trailer. You just got to strap it down first. There, now you can just pull away and it's like nothing ever happened. That should drive really well. This is a bit of a mishap, but my uh, professional loading skills take over here. This one's not really driving straight because the logs are connected, the ones at the front front trailer and the back trailer. So definitely not safe, but uh, it's gonna take us from 66 to 90,000 liters in the uh, in the sawmill, which is pretty good. And there's some more full-size trees. <laughs> yeah, we're just going for max liters here is all we want. That was, uh, what, 25,000 liters of, of wood? After a uh, quick nap that took us into the second day of January, we got a little bit of chores to do here as usual. Feed the sheep, feed the cows, get some water, take the wool, put it in the spinnery. Run over a sheep. That didn't really work too well. All right, here we go. This is the moment I've been alluding to our entire in-game life. Bye-bye, birds. I've wanted to do this forever. They're worth nothing. I mean, you sell these things off and you're making, you're not making any money. But you are making room for ducks. So I don't, I don't put a lot of ducks in here because I mean, we have room for 360 and they will multiply. So 
So I think I put like 180 or something like that. Now we gotta get him some food, obviously. Gotta treat our little ducks with some respect because they aren't chickens. Yeah, just watching over the period of time that we've had them, those uh, ducks have outperformed the chickens on every level. All right, we're gonna quickly throw some water into the cows here, uh, and then we're gonna go attack that uh, upper field and start cutting a field into those woods. And uh, I mean, and from there, it's pretty much the rest of what we do in the month of January. Uh, so once uh, once we're done here, I will wake up and we'll be live playing again in the month of February. I'm actually pretty excited about that, guys. I haven't uh, I've been able to play on this map for quite a while just because of how I recorded so much in advance. And uh, I, I regret doing that because uh, because I really enjoy playing this map, not just um, doing voiceovers and showing you what I did months ago. So anyways, yeah, I hope uh, I hope you're all right with this uh, bit of a mashup here. I don't really know how else to show it. I didn't want to just not show what I've done over these past five months, but uh, I couldn't really think of another way to do this. So anyways, uh, this is going to post pretty, pretty soon and I haven't recorded February's yet. So you can pretty much uh, tell me where to go or what to do. So anyways, hopefully, uh, hopefully you like this. I appreciate everybody that's been following along the Hinterland series and uh, I look forward to bringing you, uh, bringing you, bringing you into February. All right. So thanks so much and uh, take it easy.